This is the Uptick Newswire Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, and YouTube to stay up to date on penny stock news and interviews, public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world, with your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, we have a returning guest. I'm really excited to have him back on the show because this guy is crushing it. We're talking no other than Debt Resolve. They trade on the OTC markets. Debt Resolve provides solutions to financial institutions and other originators and holders of consumer debt for the negotiation and settlement of delinquent and defaulted consumer debt worldwide. They're also in the federal student loan business. Here to talk about that is Bruce Belmar. Bruce, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Nice to be back again. Wow. You guys just reported your second quarter, 2.44 million, up 588%. What are you guys doing over there? Well, I think, uh, you know, we we had a strategy uh, coming into this year that uh, we had most of uh, our financial results um, come out of our uh, uh, student loan care subsidiary that we're a 51% uh, majority owner of. And we started this business uh, June 1, so it had been in operation for seven months. And as we came into this year, we said, look, number one job is to execute. And, and that's what the team's been doing. So it's, uh, it's good to see that uh, they've responded and execution has been good. Uh, the marketplace is good. And so the, the results kind of speak for themselves. You know, the last six months, you guys have did $4.2 million. Most of that was coming from the new acquisition that you uh, picked up, the student loan care. My question to you, is there any more M&A on the horizons? We're always, um, uh, as, as we've detailed in our, uh, in our filings, that uh, our strategy is to want to bring more uh, companies under the umbrella you know, with the, as a as a public company, um, we do offer the ability for smaller companies to come under the umbrella and monetize the investment they've made to start their companies. And a, a lot of folks, you know, spend a lot of time, a lot of effort, hard work to start up companies and then find themselves unable to monetize it uh, because the, the sellers aren't available and the uh, the public markets aren't available, and I, I will have to admit it's very costly to be a public company. So we we offer that kind of a um, uh, some uh, financial benefit for folks to come under the debt resolve umbrella, and uh, we have we're, we're talking to other folks, and I, I I don't doubt that we'll be doing more of them. You know, I want to change gears here and talk about some of your metrics, which are very very impressive. You know, your market cap's only about two point two million. I want to tell my listeners right now. I've told you about stocks before that are undervalued. This stock is ten times undervalued where it's at right now. It's trading at almost two cents a share. And let me give you some metrics that I've done some homework on your company. In one year, you guys have done seven million in revenue. Your operating income is a positive one million. Usually. Uh, market cap to just revenues should be between 3.5 and six times. That would put you guys at uh, around 12 to 14 million market cap, and you guys are at 2 million. So uh, six times under value. What are your thoughts on that, Bruce? Well, I think um, you you hit it right on right on the head as far as the uh, the market. We don't believe really is either understanding our business or not giving us the kind of valuation that that it, it should be doing. Um, if you look at uh, our volume, uh, you'll see our volume spikes with announcements of our earnings. But as you mentioned, uh, in the last uh, seven, last uh, 12 months, we've done over 7 million. We've been over 2 million a quarter for the last three quarters. And I, I think the key is uh, just, we need to get out there and tell our story. Absolutely. And, and certainly that's, that's, that's why, uh, you know, talking to you folks today and talking to you before, our, our story was a little new at that point, but now after uh, four solid quarters, three three great quarters, uh, significant, significant operating income, uh, I think I've also mentioned in uh, the press release that I've uh, put aside um, provisions for AR bad debt, which, you know, in, in, in the course of running your business, of course, you're going to do it, but we put aside a million dollars. So... You know, and, and that million in operating income is in addition to that. So wow. the business is running well, great margins. Um, 
And now we need to get out and, and, and tell our story. You know, a lot of these revenues, and correct me if I'm wrong, a lot of these revenues came from the new company you bought about a year ago, Student Loan Care. Uh, you guys are in the federal student loan business. The student loan problem seems to be in the news all the time. Give me some of your thoughts, and, and where do we go from here? Well, you're, you're, you're correct. There's a huge opportunity in the, uh, in the student loan industry, and we read about it all the time, the, uh, how hard it is for people to pay the pay back their student loans. Absolutely. Our, our business focuses on the federal student loan holders, and the federal government actually has some significant programs to help these people uh, what they call pay as you earn. And if your earnings aren't, aren't high, then you don't have to have this, those huge uh, payments. And the, the programs, though, are, are, are a little complicated. You can do everything yourself, but uh, just as with uh, the IRS, we can do everything ourselves as far as filing our tax forms, too. But many people decide they'd rather go to specialists who under, understand the programs better and, and, and pay to have the paperwork filled out. And that's what we do. We Our business is to help clients find the best program for themselves and to then help them prepare all the documentation, all of the supporting documentation, and then get it to the uh, Department of Education so that they can be accepted into these programs and to reduce their, reduce their, uh, their monthly payment. And for many of them, uh, put them on a path to loan forgiveness, uh, depending on uh, what, what industry they work in. If they're in the public sector or in a nonprofit, they can literally be put on a path to loan forgiveness in, in 10 years. So, wow, wow. We, we, we do great things for clients, I believe, and our, our employees are very proud of uh, what we do for these people and the kind of help that we can put into their financial lives. My guest today is uh, Bruce uh, Belmar. He is the CEO of Debt Resolve, Inc. They trade on the OTC markets, ticker symbol DRSV. Uh, they just had a crushing second quarter revenues of over $2 million, up 588%. What would you like to tell your investors or your potential investors of where the company is going from here? Well, I, I, I think that uh, we don't pre-announce anything, obviously, but I think if you look back our recent history and you see what we've done, uh, you've seen the kind of progress, the kind of uh, business management we put over our businesses, the, the margins we maintain, that um, you'll understand that we're, we're a pretty solid story. And if there's an, an, an issue with management, it's that we just haven't gotten our story out. So we're going we're gonna to attempt to do that. We're going to, as you know, in, in the penny stock arena and uh, the micro cap, that there's a lot of clutter out there. There's a lot Absolutely. of people, you know, telling their story, if you will, sometimes correctly, sometimes maybe not so correctly. And what we need to do is we need to break through the clutter and, and tell our story and that will be a uh, that'll be an important part of uh, any business going forward is to make sure the market uh, values them in a correct manner. Well, congratulations on such a, a great two quarters, over two million in each quarter. In closing, Bruce, is there anything that you would like to get out to my listeners that maybe we didn't get a chance to touch upon? No, I think uh, you know you look at the numbers we've done very well. The margins are good. The the business strategy is correct, um, and we just we look forward to we'll execute and we'll let the market value us based on how well we execute. Which you know I think we've we've proven that we we can execute. Absolutely, I couldn't agree with you more. I appreciate you taking time out coming on the show. Uh, hopefully, you'll come back in two months. Give us an update of what's going on with Debt Resolve. I wish you nothing but continued success, and we'll talk to you then. Thank you, and uh, good luck to all your listeners too. This program is entirely sponsored and produced by Uptick Newswire, LLC, which is responsible for the content. The opinions and information provided on this program are those of the guests and those of the respective companies they represent and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of Uptick Newswire. Uptick Newswire encourages all listeners of this program to do their due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that will work for them or to seek the assistance of an investment professional. The guests of this program may have paid for its distribution and are not directly affiliated with Uptick Newswire or the station.